Hey guys, uh, face reveal, first video. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Your boy Rock Lee Channel, thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about season two, episode seven of One Punch Man, and it was a phenomenal episode. What made this episode so great is that it recaptured the formula of all of season one. What makes them so great? And that is a great dose of action, comedy, and a little bit of the side plot, okay? Um, in the previous episodes, they've been doing too much, not enough comedy, and the action was good, but it wasn't the right type of action, at least for me. In this episode, they had the perfect balance. Um, so, did anyone also catch that there was a couple of scenes that were very reminiscent of some classic anime scenes? I happen to think they did this purposely. Um, one, Siru, however you pronounce his name, don't crucify me because I can't pronounce Japanese names very well. He looked very much like Yamcha, and he took L's just like Yamcha. I'm hoping they put some respect on this man's name because ever since Yamcha started catching L's in the Dragon Ball franchise, he has yet to recover. So, second, Siru kicked Saitama right into the air, which was very reminiscent of Rock Lee's primary bonus. Third, um, Tornado. Her moveset, her personality, the way she does her, 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 her signs is very much like Gar. She's been doing it perhaps the entire uh, series, and I'm just now having to notice, but you know, I'm pointing it out. Uh, fourth is the way Siru punched Saitama was very much like how Goku punched Piccolo in the Dragon Ball Z franchise. All in all, this was a fantastic show. You know, we got some more of the subtle development of what's going on in the Monster Association. It seems that they have some more things up their sleeves, or so as things are switching in favor of the heroes, the monsters are like, oh, don't worry heroes, we got something coming for you. Which they start to reveal when um, a, um, a Atomic Samurai, okay, is, you know, trying to gather some people to go against the hero hunter, because he doesn't think Bang is going to really take him out because he's going to be soft. You know, one of the other swordsmen reveals that, you know, he had monster cells and that they should take it too. So now we see that the monsters are, you know, giving out monster cells and there, there, there are some additional possibilities that can start occurring that we're not prepared for. We also see some more of that philosophy of what it means to be a hero in this episode because Tornado, as soon as she enters a battle, she insults the S-Class hero, you should have gotten this job done faster, and insults the rest of the heroes and is saying, we don't even need you, and then proceeds to move on. And, you know, one of them is insulting her, and then, hey, be careful, you don't want her to hear you, because everyone knows that she has a temper. Now, what I like about, the, what, about One Punch Man in general, but this particular episode really captured it, was the pacing. And in most anime, especially when it's a martial arts tournament, the episode drags, takes forever. The art takes forever, especially a martial arts, a martial arts tournament. This one, Saitama beat two people before, Saitama beat two people in like 10 to 15 minutes of the show. <laughs> in most anime, that, 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 you know, that drags on. And even the primary battle could take three episodes, and in this case, it took one. Um, I really enjoyed that fight because it wasn't a cliche battle. It was full of humor. Saitama's not trying, and what they did to add, I guess, some more of a threat or some you know, more of a handicap for Saitama, he's just trying to keep his wig on. That's all he's doing. And it's this funny little banter that goes back and forth there, like, man, he must be a great fighter because he knows to protect his head. Me, the viewer, I'm like, uh, duh. But they actually made this like something epic. And the crowd is thinking Siru's holding back. You know, if not, they're actually on par, but it's far from that. Saitama is the one holding back, and how they don't see that is beyond me. So anyways, we find that these heroes are very similar. They are both looking for some money, and they want to have fun. They want to see people, you know, you know, push them to their max. Siru ends up going too far in distinguishing himself from Saitama in the way he insults heroes. They're weak, is what he says, and when he says that, you see the human mum writer, whatever his name is, in the background. Um, they he he refers to them as you know they're just in it for glory, they're just in it for you know you know pride or whatever, and you know they're not true, and that really seems to strike a chord with Saitama. See it all over his face, 
he gets a little serious. Um, and that's when you really saw that there was, you know, a separation. Saitama did not like that remark. But listen, I had a hard time, you know, putting my finger on Saitama and whether or not he is really a true hero. Here is why. He is easily the most powerful man in the show that we have been introduced to, yet he's on his quest to find a challenge. There are monsters destroying the city and there's a big plot brewing, which I would hope that he is actually aware of. But he is more focused on facing a challenge when he could just go out there and just break everybody and just keep the world safe. But that's not his focus. So makes me really wonder how true of a hero he is. Or maybe he's just that naive, like a Goku, very naive. And the show has indicated that he's very naive, but yet he stands up for the right thing at the right moment whenever he hears it, says so something epic, and then goes on to looking like a fool. So anyways, Saitama ends up losing this fight by disqualification, which I like because it made the episode unpredictable. I didn't really see that coming. And you know, we know that he can destroy the guy easily. We know that. So just to switch it up, have him actually lose the fight and for us to think that, oh, this fight's gonna end right here. But it didn't. <laughs> uh, Siru still wants to crush him, so he gets right at it. And um, Saitama just beats him with like a little hip, little hip motion. And even though, you know, Saitama lost, Siru feels like he lost. He's broken, he's never lost before, his pride is broken. So he's gonna get his money, he's gonna get paid, uh, but he's not satisfied with that. At least I think he's gonna get paid, as far as I know. Um, anyways, show ends with Genos taking another L, like always, which has frustrated me in the past because I really like Genos. His moveset is some of the coolest in the show. At this point, I'm starting to realize that maybe this is part of what makes the show funny, I guess, that people like to make fun of Genos. and like, ah, oh, there's Genos, take another L. I don't know. Um, so that's just, you know, become one of my thoughts. Um, so another interesting point to bring up is on my Instagram page, when I was posting some clips of One Punch Man, people, people brought up that Siru and the Hero Hunter are on par, in my opinion. They haven't displayed enough to compare the characters, but yet people are already debating upon, debating between their strength. So I'm curious of your opinions. Do you think there's enough data? And do you think that if Hero Hunter and Seer were to fight each other right now, right now, who do you guys think would win? So I'd uh, love to hear more of your thoughts. Please subscribe to the channel. This is among my first videos. I can really appreciate your support and your feedback. And in order to grow at a faster pace, what I'm doing for you guys is, once this channel reaches a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away, I'm going to be doing a t-shirt giveaway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one person at random who has commented on one of our videos and is also a follower on our Instagram page. So all you got to do is make sure you subscribe, drop a comment, make sure you're following on Instagram, be eligible for a t-shirt on the yourboyrockley.com merchandise store. We also have blogs, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out for more.